Hello, hello, and welcome to the Ultimate Tarot Guide Tutorials. These episodes are going to take a look at each tarot card, going over the correspondences for each card found in my book, The Ultimate Tarot Guide for Your Personal Tarot Journey. This book is available at Amazon in print and Kindle. This book takes you on an inspirational, magical journey into the realm of tarot. We're going to leave traditionalism and mediocrity behind. We're also going to open doors and expand horizons to reveal amazing connections with the tarot and its intimate influence on our world. As you make your way through this tarot study, you will develop a very unique and personal connection with the tarot and a deeper understanding of yourself. The deck I will be using throughout this tarot study guide is Vintage Tarot. I recommend that any deck you use be closely associated with the traditional Rider White deck with the major arcanas and suits found therein. So, with that said, grab a cup of coffee and pull up a chair. We're going to sit around the table and explore each tarot card. We're going to explore intuitive reading and we're going to learn how to tap into our intuitive side and listen to our clairs. And we'll pull more from a tarot card than you ever thought possible. With that said, off we go. This is episode five. Our card for today is the Queen of Pentacles. A quick overview. Her astrological connection is Capricorn. Her elemental connection is Earth. Keywords, nature loving, maternal, fertile, independent, freedom loving, stubborn, overly sensitive, touchy, opinionated, judgmental, fun-loving, aware, empathic, paranoid, whimsical, nostalgic, sentimental. This is an absolutely delightful queen. And when everything is lined up and she is at her best, she's one of the most stable and the most comforting queens to be around. This queen is a wonderful example of someone who handles their finances well and has a good head on their shoulder for all of the fine points and those those little responsibilities of adulthood per se all the all those unique details of running a household uh, managing bills managing money this queen kind of mirrors the king of pentacles uh, like the the feminine version of this king uh, in her quest for um, control. She's super sensitive and her, her sensitivity um, runs toward the idea of someone slighting her. Uh, whether this is a real slight or she's perceived something that's been said or done as a slight. She's very unforgiving. If you get on the bad side of this queen, um, she's never going to forget and she's never going to forgive. So if you get on that list, and we all know what that list is, you're probably not ever going to get off that list. So count your friendship, count your acquaintance, you know, count your connection done. And that's the way this queen runs. She's also sort of an oxymoron. Is like she reminds me a lot of the Empress uh, in the Major Arcana cards, in that she's very maternal and very connected to fertility and and abundance and all of that. But at the same time, um, because of her love of freedom and her independence actual physical mothering, you probably will not find this queen tied down at home with a little troop of children. That's just would not be her. She's very independent. She, she shies away from anything that she feels might threaten her independence, her, her freedom, her ability to come and go as she will, and her ability to be able to make decisions that that only apply to her. She doesn't have to think about other people and um, within that realm. So let's get our tarot caps on, get your tarot journals out, and let's take a look at this card. And that's what I'm doing right now. The, the thing, so what jumps out at, at you? Is there a color that jumps out? What do you see on your card? Uh, what is it about this image that speaks to you? That, that pops. 
for me, it's the fact that um, it feels to me the way she's sitting on her throne that she has her back turned to something. And this is telling me that this queen can very easily cut ties with no qualms, no regrets, um, no second chances, no second choices. She doesn't second guess herself and she will never, uh, never undo um, a decision she has made in, in that respect. So she can very easily turn her back on people, relationships, you know, situations of that kind. So there's there's that feeling that I'm getting with this card. When I'm looking at this card, um, I, I, what pops for me is, is the gold coin and the attention that she's got to it. There's, um, there's such fine attention to details in her life, but at the same time, her back is turned on something that that she probably should be more focused on and ignores for these tiny details of her life that she may feel uh, allows her um, to be free and independent. All these little details. But at the end of life, it's not all these little details that are going to sum up how she lived. It's going to be what she turned her back on. And that's the impression that I'm getting for that card. And that's what's going in my tarot journal. So you guys get your tarot journals out there and, and um, waking up your clairs uh, and your what you see, what you know, what you feel, what you hear. Look at this card and pull your own perceptions. And let's see what kind of interesting things come up for the Queen of Pentacles for you. And I was delighted to introduce you to this Queen of Pentacles today. She's a very enigmatic character, probably, um, of the Queen. She is the most enigmatic. And with that said, I'm going to end this session for us today. And until the next time, and until the next video, bye-bye.